Well, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Hey, we had a 109 degree day the other day. So anything uh, below that is a blessing, right? Oh, yeah. yes, absolutely. Well, thanks for coming in uh, to talk about women in and motorcycles. 20% of all motorcycle riders are women double from less than 10 years ago. Women are no longer riding shotgun or in the on the back of a man's bike. Although, you know, some of us do. <laughs> but some <laughs> describe women riders as the secret sauce of the motorcycle industry. And we're going to call it the secret salsa. And according to the Motorcycle Industry Council, women motorcyclists are the fastest growing demographic. Annette Duchesne Barraza is one of those women on two wheels driving the change in the industry and uh, the secret salsa in all of this. Thank you for joining us today yeah, and tell me a, a little us. bit about yourself. I know that you have three different motorcycles yes. and I also noticed all the bling bling and that's how you ride. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Everybody so, always asks, how do you do it? Um, I just, I'm used to it. I'll ride with heels, ride with my nails and just bling. Show here, show everybody your nails and your <laughs> bling bling, and that's that's fun because uh, so so some of us have a notion of of women uh, motorcyclists, you know, with with the leather pants and the leather jacket. What do you look like? Who are you? Mm, I'm more of like, I guess my tight jeans, heels, looking sexy. Heels, yes. <laughs> you ride like, in heels? Yes, I like to look sexy. Okay, I like wearing heels too. So yeah, I understand. <laughs> I like your, your your pretty earrings and all of that too. Thank you. Thank now you. now, why do you ride? Um, I I've been on a motorcycle too, but why do you ride? Is it empowering? What what goes through your head when you're when you're riding? When you're on the road? When you're on the freeway? It's just the freedom, the freedom, the feeling independent. You know, uh, for years people would say that we couldn't do it, and it's been done for years. You know, I got to see the Harley Davidson uh, series and women were writing since then. So it's just fun being able to support other people when they're having runs, when they're doing things for, you know, the children's hospital, for any events. You know, I know you have the uh, breast cancer, um, you know, association stuff that you do. And, you know, we just try to help out. And it's it's that that we feel that we helped somebody. Actually, yeah, uh, uh, women are writing with purpose. So, I mean, you like to feel empowered. You like to feel that freedom, that independence, and that adventure. But you also write with purpose and with community. So yes. you write with a lot of things in mind. Yes, yes, we do. We do. Um, but always, you know, we always have to take care of each other as women, um, safety, um, helping other girls and women to to learn and empower themselves. The feeling that we've been doing for a long time. You know, some people are learning how to do now. So it's it's just helping them too as well. So you talk about safety. Yes. And there are some statistics that say that women motorcyclists are safer on the road than men. Would you agree with that? I think so. Um, only I think we have that thought that we got to go home. We have our careers. We have to go home for our kids, our grandkids. Um, I don't, I'm not saying men don't have to, but I think that's where we we really think about we got to drive safely and get home because our children are waiting for us, you know, and it's not us most of the time that might cause an accident, but somebody will cause without noticing us, right. you know, so that's why safety is always important is a number one is a number yes. one priority. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand that newer female motorcyclists are younger than their male counterparts. The average age is 39 for men. It's about 48. 50% of women are married, 47% have a college or postgraduate degree, and 50% do their own maintenance. Do you do your own maintenance? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to change the oil or any of that? No, no, things? I have my husband for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, uh, you own three different motorcycles. Yes. And uh, do they stand for something different? You know, you ride this one for this reason, this one for that reason. Oh, how do you pick your motorcycle for that day? Um, well, actually my, my third motorcycle is being done right now. Okay. It's still, I haven't rode that one. It's a, it's an iron horse, an old three iron horse ranger and we're close, but you know, I'll be on in about two weeks, but my Honda is the one that I love. It has a, a paint job. People don't know it's a Honda. I have the eight pangers. That's 
my favorite. Okay. I got it on my own. I was able to do this. When everybody would say, you can do it. You're not going to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why I got that one. It okay. has sentimental value. What colors are they? Uh, the Honda's green. Um, the 95 Heritage Softail's red. And then my uh, Iron Horse is white. Ooh, nice yes. colors. Nice <laughs> colors. So we have Sam Urquidi here. Now, he's a general manager of Viva Power Sports. And yep. uh, you've been listening very intently to Annette here about uh, about being a woman, oh, a yeah. woman mo motorcycle driver. Uh, how First of all, how is business right now? Business is really good. Um, the demand is there. People are looking to buy things. Um, unfortunately, we're running into the inventory constraints, but business is really good right now. Everybody wants to be out of the house. Everybody wants to ride something. And then they come and see us for it. And women motorcyclists. Most definitely. We do have a lot of women that come in by vehicles. Um, women that are first starting off um, learning how to ride. We try to put them on the best vehicle that we see fit for them. That way they're not getting onto something that might be a little bit too big for them. So you help them make the right decision. Oh, honestly. absolutely. Uh, how do you, how have you seen a uh, business evolve and how a woman comes into play in all of the development of, of the writing community? Um, you know, there, there's, um, women like writing obviously, and, um, they kind of want to feel a part of it. Mm -hmm. Um, writing like, uh, she was saying, they they get together. They want they want to be a part of the the writing scene and everything like that. Um, so they obviously, like I said, they do come and see us. They want to get on a vehicle. They want to be a part of the community and stuff like that. And um, you can't really express uh, in words the whole writing situation. It's right. something that, like she was saying, very you, unique. You, it's unique. It's a unique feeling. You feel free. Um, it, it's great. It, it's hard for me to even talk about it. I've been writing my entire life. And I still, to this day, can't find the words to put it together on on the experience of writing and stuff like that. So when you see, let, let let's let's uh, let's put you inside the the uh, the store. When you see a woman coming in, what do you think? Let's get her on a motorcycle. Start with a kiss because everything should start with a kiss. At Viva Auto Group, we like to keep it simple because buying a car shouldn't be hard. You can start the process online, find a new or used car, truck, or SUV, learn your trade in value, and apply for financing on your time. So when you do come into one of our dealerships, you can be in and out in less than an hour. So start and finish with a kiss at VivaAutoGroup.com. Let's get her on a motorcycle. Let's show her around. Um, we tend to give a little bit more attention to the the female that come into the dealership, just because, like I stated before, we want to make sure that they're getting on something that is for them. Um, the wrong, uh, I'm sorry, the the worst sale that we can make is uh, selling them something that they're not going to like. Mm -hmm. So we always want to make sure that they're um, informed of the the specifications of the vehicle. Um, and kind of sit them on the right vehicle, depending on what their riding style is mm -hmm. and what they want to do with the vehicle that they're looking at. So we sell motorcycles, side by sides, scooters, ATVs, dirt bikes, personal watercrafts. Yep. All the fun stuff. <laughs> All the, all the fun, fun stuff, stuff. yeah. <laughs> all the fun stuff. And, yeah. and women uh, ride all of these. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of females that come in and, and they uh, they buy bikes, they buy dirt bikes. I mean, you name it, and and they get on it. So, are these motorcycles and all these all these different vehicles that you sell at Viva Power Sports are they unisex? Um, for the most part, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we have the really bigger bikes, mm -hmm. um, and then we do have smaller bikes, scooters. Um, sometimes people don't want to get on big CC machines, and they want something a little bit smaller, so. We could definitely educate them on the the vehicles and kind of put them on the right vehicle depending on um how they want to ride the vehicle a shorties need smaller vehicles right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now let, let's talk a little bit about protective gear is that also unisex i know that you know that the leather the leathers are are different too but the protective gear is that different yeah so the protective gear is a little bit different um when it comes to the male uh, protective gear and the female protective gear. Uh, the female protective gear usually tends to be a little bit trimmed down mm -hmm. a little bit just for the for the females. 
Um, but there are some things where they are going to be a little bit more unisex, like the helmets and stuff like that. But for the most part, the pants, the, the jackets, gloves um, are going to be male and female style. Do you have pink ones? Absolutely. We got all the colors. Pink, <laughs> and purple, bling, bling. I mean, and yeah, bling, bling. yeah, you name it, we got it. We got You're it. You're going to have to put them on her. Yeah. That's right. I'm writing with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now, do you have any pink gear? No, I don't. Oh, my goodness. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, and we're going to have to get you some pink gear. funny because I like bling and I like Hello Kitty, but... I don't have pink. We're going to have to get you some pink and get you involved in, in the Stand with Estella fund also so you can all write pink. So not writing with a purpose. You have something coming up in September. Yes, we actually have the El Paso Border Run. And it's all the funds are going to be going to the um, El Paso Children's Hospital. And Turi Ariano from Poderoso Car Club is the one that runs that that run. What what would you tell you know some of our viewers today who are joining us on Facebook today and, and eventually on our on our and on this podcast? What would you say to a woman who's who's afraid, who's a little afraid of of riding a motorcycle? Now, I I get a little nervous riding on a motorcycle, but I don't I can't even imagine myself driving it myself. What would you tell them? Well, in the beginning, the fear is there, but it goes away once you start feeling the adrenaline rush. The you know being independent out on the road, it's cheaper than therapy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't be scared. You know, we're all out there. We're out there to help each other. And, you know, taking the course will help for the newcomers coming in and just practice and practice makes perfect. Yep. Okay. Well, maybe we can encourage some of our, our uh, people joining us today to get, get on a motorcycle. Uh, speaking of uh, getting your license and getting uh, all the uh, safety precautions and safety courses, where do you recommend people go? Sam? Um, you could definitely go to El Paso Community College. They do offer the motorcycle course there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the wait times are in order to get your course, but it is uh, a weekend course. Um, you do uh, on road uh, on road riding. I believe they provide the vehicles for you, and then uh, you do a written course right after that. And then they give you a certificate that you passed, and um, you'll take that certificate, uh, if I'm not mistaken, to the DMV, and then they'll add the endorsement to your license. And you're ready to go. And, and you're be ready safe to rock and roll. Road. Yep. Okay. One anything you'd like to add that we didn't talk about today? No. No. I mean. Like she was saying, don't be afraid to to get a motorcycle if you are a female. There's there's nothing wrong with uh, um, wanting to join that kind of community. Um, here at Viva Power Sports, we do have a lot of females that come in and they're a little bit on the shorter side, and they need uh, <laughs> they need a little bit of help being able to reach the ground. We do offer uh, lowering links for the motorcycles. Um, that way the bike gets dropped down. That way they could flat foot the motorcycle, uh, lowering kickstands. So don't ever be afraid that, hey, this bike is a little bit too big for me because we could always make those adjustments for you. Okay. Well, thank you both for joining us. And uh, once again, uh, women are the secret sauce, or we're going to call it the secret salsa, salsa. Uh, <laughs> here here on the border, right? <laughs> yes. So thank you for coming in. And uh, yes, encouraging the other women who are watching us today to give it a shot. Yes. Yes. Get out of the house and come and see us. Okay. Start writing with us. Start writing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you both for coming Thank in. Thank you very much for having Thank us. Chocala, porque todo trato debe de cerrarse con un apretón de manos. En Viva Auto Group hacemos un compromiso para que tu compra sea rápida y segura. Puedes comenzar en línea. Encuentra un vehículo nuevo o preusado. Descubre cuánto vale tu trading. Comienza tu solicitud de financiamiento y cuando estés listo, visítanos en la concesionaria y sellamos el trato con un apretón de manos. ¡Chócala! ¡Con Viva Autogroup! We'd like to hear what you think about today's conversation. Go to the Viva Auto Group Facebook page and like us. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned car or truck, we invite you to choose a Viva vehicle.